anybody who's done outside interpretive panels or education labels knows that it costs a lot to generate these. Um, this one in particular is about 50 to $60. Last time we purchased it, it was $55 and the price of metal and aluminum has gone up. So I wouldn't be surprised that one of these would cost $75. Well, our budget at the Arboretum is quite small. We are just over $300,000 operating budget. And so we don't, we don't have the budget for these kinds of things um, in, in large part. Grant funding works well, but then again, if it gets blown away in a storm, Iowa had the derecho this past uh, year, like as if the COVID uh, pandemic wasn't enough, we had to have an inland hurricane, but um, things can blow away, mowers can hit them and eat them up. Uh, visitors, it used to be a bigger problem that visitors would take signs, but now that everybody has smartphones, visitors will take a picture of the sign and take that with them instead of taking the sign itself. Um, but they can disappear uh, and data can, um, can change. Uh, taxonomists are famous for changing the Latin name of things, drives us nuts, um, but we need to change it and keep with the times and show accurate information. But once you've spent $50 on a sign, it's really hard to go back and remake it when you'd rather go spend that money making a brand new sign. So, um, so it works, it's there, it's effective. We don't have them on every tree simply because number one, we can't afford it. And number two, um, it's, um, it wouldn't look visually pleasing. We want people to see the trees and the landscape and not a bunch of signs sprouting up everywhere. So those are some of the challenges that we face and things that we've been wondering how to fix that, how to convey that information, how to encourage visitors to connect to the tree and start viewing the Brenton Arboretum, not as a beautiful park to take a walk in, but as a cultural institution on par with some of the finest museums in the area, um, a place where you can learn about what you're looking at and, the, and learn that what you're looking at is there for a reason and has so much more story behind it than just being a pretty tree or something nice to look at. There's fantastic stories these trees can tell. We just have to be able to figure out how to tell those stories to our visitors.